Oh. Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. I'm in my grandfather's old van right now. I'm getting ready to ride from over here on the west coast, southwest of Florida, down to the east, southeast area. And what I'm doing is I'm meeting my friend Jose. We're gonna ride from his house all the way down to Key West on my Walmart bike. And I'm nervous about the whole thing. Anyway, come along with me and uh, we'll see what happens. So I can be pretty stupid sometimes. I have almost ran our van out of gas and I'm about 15 miles away from a gas station. And we're out of gas. Just kidding, I made it. Hey, what's up and good morning everybody. It's Friday, I'm at my friend's house and we're getting ready to get on the road. So Jose, my man, where are we at? Uh, right now we are in Boca. We're in downtown Boca, also called Meissner. Beautifully humid, beautiful buildings. It's in Brand there. new too, pretty <laughs> much, right? Yeah, pretty much all new. Not pretty much, it is. The bags we just put on for the first time yeah, this morning. <laughs> so that was kind of funny. My bike's doing pretty good too. Yeah, yours is looking good. Man. No problems. I oh. did have a couple times the bags hit the spokes when I stood up and was like swaying, you know? But uh, so I'm not I'm not really standing up too These much anymore. Builds are awesome. So we're out here at Boca Raton right now. I'm eating myself a smushy, smushy hot Snickers. Doing pretty good though. I guess we're about one quarter of the way finished. And we Two hours, have four cities. a nice present for me. <laughs> I mean that is a big one. You can see the rain between us it. and the building. Uh, it's coming right this way. Wow. It just faded out. Hey, maybe this. This looks like abandoned. Yeah, oh, we can't get in there. It's all gated. Let's make a right. Okay. Oh, hey. Right Check it. Oh. Whoa, good all luck. Right. All right, well, we had to take shelter for obvious reasons. This is just somebody's house, and I don't think they're home right now, so just going to hopefully uh, wait till this storm blows over it's very windy though they are even getting wet and over wet over here Bunch of water up there. I saw a big splash when that yeah, truck went oh through. Yeah, yeah look at that. Whoa. Whoa. I'm turning the GoPro on for this. Well, that's pretty extremely annoying. I just went through this huge puddle and I didn't think it would happen, but my feet got totally 100% soaked. It was probably about a foot deep and I thought I had my GoPro going, but I didn't. So sorry about that. But my feet are wet. All right, so it's 3.52 in the afternoon and I have yet another flat. I'm gonna go ahead and change this tube out too, which means I'm on my second tube, which means I'm gonna need to pick up another couple tubes.
All right, I hope you can hear me, but we finally made it to Jose's cousin's house, or aunt's house actually, where we're gonna stay tonight. It is 6.35 in the evening, but uh, I'm beat, and I'm super glad we made it today. I hope tomorrow isn't gonna be as hard because whew, I'm beat. Anyway, we're about to get into the apartment. So basically the problem is, is every time I try to do anything, like stand up or sometimes even come off of a curb, the bag is actually hitting the, in the, the spokes. And the bad part about that is, is this, the wheel is going this way, right? So it's hitting the spokes, moving that way. So it's actually trying to feed the bag into the wheel. But what I'm gonna do, and I think it'll work, I did it on this side already just now. I'm taking this bungee and I'm actually, it, it connects to the bottom and then up to the top. So it's actually like pulling the thing out. So I'm hoping that'll, that'll solve the issue. All right, here we go on flat number three for me. This one wasn't my fault, I don't think. I, I think I just ran over something. I could hear it when it popped. It just started going pss, 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 pss. Piece of glass. All right, let's get this thing changed as quick as possible. That's a gash, man. That's the second one too, you know. But Bruce, we're almost there. We'll get there. Third one of the of the trip, but hey, we got this, man. We got this. We're in Miami somewhere off a of trip. We are at about one and a half hour, 27 kilometers at a really nice gas station. Not really, but um, but they're nice enough because they got cold water. So, so we're doing pretty good, making good time, averaging just over 21 kilometers an hour. So that's actually really good. But I'm pretty optimistic at the moment. The heat is very, very, very intense. All right, we're about to get back on the road. In a few minutes, I'm gonna apply some more sunscreen because I like to keep my skin looking fresh and young. <laughs> All right, so it is now 11.55 and we just got done eating lunch here at the Burger King. I had an Impossible Burger, it was good. And we are now in Homestead, heading out to the, the middle of nowhere for a while. Look at him. Yeah, he's, he's gone. fast. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Man. Anyway, as a man said, we are 28 miles, he said, 28. 28 miles from our destination, which is a hotel tonight. I think it's safe to say that we're pretty well beat. And uh, that's mainly because of sun and because the wind, our headwind, the whole way, pretty much sun the whole way. So we're just like fried. And I almost got ran over by a big truck. Bruce is the man, dude. Why, because I almost got ran over by a truck? He said, screw you, truck. I laughed <laughs> in the face of death. <laughs> And now that our break is over, we have to go up this huge bridge, probably the biggest bridge of the entire trip, I reckon, at least in terms of height. Hey, 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 where are we at now? We're on top of some bridge. We're literally in the keys now. We're literally in the keys, finally. All American Road. Finally. Woo. Yes. Bruce, what does that say? Isla Morada. Woo. Hey guys, so we're about 10 miles, no, 10 kilometers or six miles away from a hotel. So we're pretty happy. And I think I can speak for both of us that we're totally tired of riding today. Just look at my face. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to get some refreshments here at the convenience store. And then we'll get to the hotel and I'll show you how the hotel looks. I'm sure it's beautiful. Whoa. 
so glad we made it here. It looks pretty nice, so I think we're happy. Now I'm gonna eat a pizza. Well, first I'm gonna take a shower, then I'm gonna eat a pizza, and then I don't know what else. So you know we were supposed to be camping this trip, right? Um, but Jose's uh, tent didn't come from Amazon on uh, Amazon.com on time, so we took this hotel. Actually, we ended up being very lucky because check out this weather. Hey, good morning, everybody. This is just a quick update. It is 7.45 in the morning, so we're doing pretty good on time today. Feeling pretty tired because I woke up at like 3.30 in the morning and didn't get back to sleep the whole night. Um, yeah, I'm crazy like that. But <laughs> otherwise, I'm okay. I still have some numbness on my hand from yesterday right there. It's pretty numb. So I adjusted my handlebars right there. I brought them up, and I rotated them forward. So hopefully that's going to help a little bit. What's it called? Bluefin in? Yeah. Bluefin in, I'd say two thumbs up. No bugs, nobody tried breaking in, so that's pretty good. It is about nine o'clock in the morning, which means we've been riding for about one hour. We've made it about 18 and a half kilometers. And uh, we have some broken sunglasses that just occurred. And uh, the main problem right now, I guess, for Jose is his stomach is kind of messed up. It's been messed up the whole trip, right? The whole trip. Basically, yeah. You got, you got some pretty bad stomach pains. Just got to ride through. Did you get them together? Got him. As best right. as they can be. It's good. folks so another update it is 11:44, and we are at a gas station but it's not open anymore so nothing to get but it's all right we just stopped not long ago at another gas station so we're all good on liquids and we're getting we're getting pretty close to the seven mile bridge who knows we don't know beat. he don't know he's beat but he's not beat though i don't know how many miles we have to go yet 45 yeah, so we still have 49 miles today and it's starting to get later. Jose's having quite a bit of problems with his stomach, which I think is causing him overall energy issues. So we're having to make quite a few stops. I hope he can get past it because otherwise this is gonna be a long, uh, long, long day. Yeah, he's having a lot of trouble. He's like going super slow back there somewhere. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. We just got done stopping for like 15, 20 minutes. We laid down on the ground for a while. So, all right, so it is 1.22 in the afternoon and I've broke my sunglasses. See that? So now we have two broken sunglasses. I lost a water bottle. Keys are beating us up. And uh, Keys I are beating the hell out of us, dude. Yeah, so it's we're- Not for the faint of heart, okay? Yeah, it's super, super hot right now. Super, super sunny. So, uh, I've been having a rough day today. He's been having a rough day because his stomach mostly. Anyway, a little better. Anyway, we're gonna get going here after we eat, fuel up. Well, now we're coming up to the Seven Mile Bridge. Here it is. Thank you and some so ice cold much. water. Oh wow, thank you so oh, much. You are awesome, the best. Awesome. Thank you so much. God bless. Wow. <laughs> From West Palm Beach. Huh? Amazing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Alright, I'll be back.
watch those. So we just stopped in front of this like art, art something or another. And we thought this lady was gonna come and kick us out, but she actually gave us Gatorade and water, ice cold. Woo, what a saver. <laughs> That's so nice. How you doing back there, Jose? All right, a little bit wet. We're getting some rain, but honestly it feels good. But I don't wanna get soaked either. Okay, we had just stopped under some trees because the rain has gotten uh, pretty heavy. Not super heavy, but it's pretty heavy. Heavy enough. Yeah, we're just gonna take a break here and hopefully the rain will, will pass by us in a minute. Look at that. It's totally dry. It never rained up here. No, it went across. <laughs> All right, folks, so we're seven miles away from the finish from getting the, to the Key West most southern point. And wouldn't you know, I got another flat tire, but this time it's the back. But it's actually not totally flat. So I'm just gonna try to pump it up, but it's pretty flat. It is pretty flat. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's pretty flat. I'm just gonna try to pump it up though, because we only have like seven miles, so. Can't believe it's holding air, but whatever, I'm gonna go. And of course, as you would expect, that tire did go flat, so. Let's see how fast I can change it and how dirty I can get my hands. Ready, set, go. Oh, man. All right, all done. All right, it's 6.30 in the evening right now and uh, Jose is in a lot of pain. His stomach was still kind of messed up all day. And um, we're just like 0.4 miles from the campground, which we're gonna camp at, which is like another five miles or something like that to the final goal, which is the southernmost point of, of the US, I, I think. Anyway, it's, it's the goal. And um, he's just so beat, he's actually gonna turn in tonight at the campground and uh, then tomorrow morning do that last little bit so he can actually enjoy it. All right, here we are at our campground for tonight, Boyd's. Hey, good morning guys. It's almost 8 a.m. on a Monday and unfortunately I do have to work today. So there's a Starbucks right over there somewhere and I'm about to jump in there. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it probably to the uh, most southern point with Jose. He's gonna go for it though. Um, I just have to work today. So uh, anyway, I think that's about it for this video. Just uh, thanks so much for watching. It was an awesome adventure. All right, ciao y'all.